Tom, that wasn't the only big news in baseball. Unfortunately, the other big news was also more sad news, which we've had way too much of in 2020. Another Hall of Famer lost, and Phil Necro dying on Saturday at the age of 81. A Braves country, I mean, mourn the loss of the great knuckleballer, the man they called Nuxy. Um, I mean, gosh, just um, an innings eater, oh, uh, a quality pitcher, um, and someone I don't think we'll ever see in the game anymore. No, no way. I mean, you look at some of these numbers that we have up there now, and especially if you're a young fan, you think that's a mistake, that a research department, you know, had a little too much holiday cheer when they're putting this together. But it's true. This is a guy in that three-year period in the late 70s threw over 1,000 innings in just three years. Incredible. He won more games after age 40 than Garrett Cole won in his 20. Garrett just turned 30. And we think he's a great pitcher. He's the most valuable pitcher in baseball. And Phil Necro won more games after 40. And you notice on those videos, he was a really good athlete, by the way. He mm. threw the knuckleball, and of course, that was his signature pitch. But really good athlete. He won a gold glove at 39. His first of five. <laughs> he won another one in his, at 43. Watch when he finishes square to the plate. And we'll, he was with the Yankees. I was actually covering him. You covered team. him. Yeah, this is 85, and that was his 300th win in Toronto there. He threw a knuckleball only on the last out pitch of the game. He went out and threw 85-mile-an-hour <laughs> heaters the whole game and got them all out. But he, covering that team, for me, he was a gem. I mean, I learned how important it was to have a veteran, older influence on a team. I didn't know anything about team building or anything like that. I just knew that everybody looked to him because he was always calm, pleasant, a gentleman. Quick story for you. He started opening day in the 85 season. Mm. The Yankees are in Boston at Fenway Park, and they lose. They lost to Oil Cam Boyd. The next day, they get wiped out. It was like 14-2. to two. After game two of the season, George Steinbrenner says, tomorrow is a must-win game. It's crucial we win. It's the third game of a 162-game season. I'm covering the Yankees. <laughs> like, what? What's going on? I got a quick indoctrination. Uh, but Necro was the guy you would go to. You know, he would just put everything in perspective. There was never any hurry or worry of him at all. Just a real first-class gentleman. By the way, that was the year Yogi Berra got fired like two weeks later, so I guess it was crucial. But, <laughs> man, it's, you're right. It's been a really tough year for this game. Uh, we're losing, Nelly, not just great Hall of Famers, but I'm talking about great people. Humans you know? ambassadors oh, of the goodness. game. Oh, my Yeah, some of my favorites. Uh, Necro... Um, ERA leader in 1967. That year, he was caught by Mr. Baseball, Bob Euchre, of course, now in the booth from Milwaukee Brewers. If you don't know Bob Euchre's name, kids, come on. Come on, be better. But Euchre had a great quote when asked about catching the knuckleball of Nuxie. He said, catching, catching Phil Necro was great. I met a lot of important people. They all sat behind home plate. Because that year <laughs> that Nuxie led the lead, in ERA, Euchre led the league in pass balls. And it, it's an interesting story because Necro said Euchre turned his career around. Right. Because Paul Richards was one of the Braves' executives. He was a He's the guy who invented the bigger mitt for catchers to catch the knuckleball. Mm. He traded for Euchre specifically to catch Necro. And Euchre told Necro, who before would not throw his knuckleball with a guy on third base or maybe on second base, didn't want to risk a wild pitch. Euchre said, dude, you need to throw that pitch all the time. Yeah. I'll do whatever I can to stop it. And that's how he won the ER title. So he said it changed his career around having Euchre catch him. And of course it did for Euchre because in Atlanta, Euchre met Al Hurt, the trumpet player. Mm -hmm. And that's how he got a gig on the night show, on the Tonight Show. Oh. And ever since Johnny Euchre's Carson nicknamed him Mr. Yeah. Baseball. Yeah. So uh, Phil Necro will continue to share stories uh, about another legend 